Four years ago, JT Daniels was the number three quarterback in his recruiting class and was the guy who was supposed to save USC football. After a pretty bad freshman year and an injury-riddled sophomore season, Daniels decided to enter the portal and go to Georgia. He was immediately seen as the guy who would start and eventually lead the Bulldogs to a national championship. The Bulldogs won their championship, but Daniels did not start. Stetson Bennett, Dewan Mathis, and Carson Beck all got an opportunity to play, while Daniels has battled injury. He showed flash late in 2020 when he actually did play, but after a 2021 season in which Stetson Bennett led the Bulldogs to the title, it looks like Daniels is the odd man out, and he decided to enter his name into the transfer portal. We are already two and a half months into the offseason, and Daniels has still not found a home, but I think we have a good idea of where he is going to go. In today's video, I want to talk about the JT Daniels situation, the three schools that are going to try to land him, and ultimately where he should go. So without further ado, let's get started. So coming out of high school, JT Daniels was a five-star recruit, and he obviously went to Matter Day. In his freshman year at USC, he threw for 2,672 yards with 14 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, and he completed 60% of his passes. It wasn't bad for his true freshman year, but many were expecting a big jump in 2019. Maybe it was going to happen, but in the first game, Daniels went down with a knee injury and would never put on a USC uniform again after Keaton Slovis took over. He would announce his transfer to Georgia, where Dewan Mathis and Stetson Bennett would battle it out the first two weeks before Daniels would eventually return. In his couple games with the Bulldogs, he threw for 1,200 yards with 10 touchdowns and two picks, and it seemed like he was finally the quarterback that Georgia fans were longing for. Then, all of a sudden, he was having these injury concerns, and before we knew it, he barely played in 2021. He finished the season with seven touchdowns and three interceptions, with only 722 yards passing. This left the door open for Stetson Bennett, who eventually took over the starting job and led Georgia to their first national title in a long time. Daniels was now the odd man out, as they had Brock Vandegrift, Gunnar Stockton, and Carson Beck all on the bench, and it seemed Kirby was ready to move on from him. So where was Daniels going to go? For a while, some people thought he would go to Auburn or maybe go back to the West Coast, but he had not found his destination, and some were beginning to wonder where would JT Daniels go. Then over the last week, we have found out three schools are pursuing him, and he will visit three schools. The first one is West Virginia. Honestly, I think they're the odd man out in this three-team race. Neil Brown's a little bit in over his head right now for West Virginia, and while they will have to replace Jarrett Dagey, both Nico Marchiol and Garrett Green are back for the Mountaineers, and I think those are the two quarterbacks that Brown is going to end up running with, and it seems that Daniels has left the Mountaineers in the dust. The big two schools here are going to be Oregon State and Missouri. Let's first start with the Beavers. They're an up-and-coming Pac-12 program, they have an up-and-coming coach in Jonathan Smith, and Daniels would potentially have the opportunity to win the starting job. I say potentially because there are already two guys with starting experience in that quarterback room. Chance Nolan took over as the starter last year and led the Beavers to a bowl game and had one of the best passing seasons in Oregon State history. He is without a doubt the presumed starter, but don't forget Tristan Jebbia. He was a four-star recruit coming out of high school, and after not playing at Nebraska, he transferred to the Beavers and was a starter in 2020. He led them to an upset win over Oregon and established himself as the guy moving forwards, but he got hurt going into 2021 and Nolan took his spot. Both of those guys are back, and really the only reason I could see Daniels going out to the West Coast is because he wants to go closer to home, but I don't think Oregon is really that close to the LA area, and I don't think he'll end up going there. Now, let's get to the main option, the Missouri Tigers. As many of you guys know, I'm a Mizzou fan, and I'm definitely not trying to be biased, but JT Daniels to Missouri makes way too much sense. They lost Connor Bazelak to Indiana, so right now they don't have a bona fide starter. They have Brady Cook, who started the bowl game, but many wonder how high his ceiling actually is. Then you have Tyler Macon, who's an extremely athletic player, but his arm is just not where it needs to be, and many wonder if he will ever see the field. Then you have the highly polarizing option of Sam Horn. He's a top 100 quarterback in the 2022 class who will enroll this summer and kind of has Drew Locke vibes to him. Unfortunately though, he is enrolling this summer, he is a freshman, and I'm not sure he will win that job right away. That leaves the door open for a guy with experience and potential to come in and compete for the starting job. That's where we put JT Daniels. Obviously, he's not the best athlete in the world, but he has shown potential with his arm, and there's a reason he was ranked as a five-star recruit at the end of high school. He's shown flash both at USC and at Georgia, and going to a school like Missouri allows him to play against good competition, play in big games, and more importantly, actually gives him the opportunity to play. Personally, if JT Daniels comes into this quarterback room, I think he will win the job over Brady Cook and Tyler Macon, and while I won't guarantee him to have a great year with Missouri, he could finally save his career and play for a pretty decently respected school. I am not quite Quite sure though, but all I do know is that JT is visiting Missouri this weekend and that he has already visited Oregon State, 
But on paper, out of those three schools, it makes the most sense for him to go to Missouri because of both the opportunity to play and the opportunity to play in the best conference in football. But what do you guys think? If you're a Georgia fan, what went wrong for JT Daniels? Where do you guys think he will end up going? And what topics should I cover in my next video? Be sure to let me know down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Smash that like button if you want to support today's video. And check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon. But until next time, peace.